a furious building on the surface of the sun. Heat, generated in its core, is released in towers of hot, electrified gas called plasma that break the surface. Looping magnetic fields break the surface too. When they snap, they can release powerful high-speed waves of gas. A billion tons of plasma racing out into space. What happens when this electric blast wave reaches Earth? Our planet's magnetic field deflects most of it, sending it streaming past into space. A portion moves around the dark side of the planet. Two flows join in a process called reconnection. Following a powerful eruption, solar particles stream down into our upper atmosphere. When they interact with oxygen, they produce the famed auroras that dance above the North and South Poles. Green, blue, and red, depending on altitude. Auroras have been seen as far south as the tropics during strong solar outbursts. Otherwise, they are creatures of polar skies. Igniting the imaginations of polar inhabitants down through the ages. One Inuit legend describes them as sky-dwelling spirits returning to Earth. The legend says that the muffled cracking noises you can sometimes hear during a bright aurora are the returning spirits attempting to communicate. Modern science has associated them with the same chemical reactions that produce the aurora. The explanations may vary, but not the sense of wonder felt by sky watchers, ancient and modern, who saw spirits dancing. Excited molecules. Friendly giants and their torchlights. Magnetic fields twisting. Or the great Algonquin creator who lit bonfires in the north to remind his people he was still watching over them. <laughs>